Episode 3 begins with a flashback showing Max and Leo in a hostile forest with harsh weather. Suddenly, they are confronted by a horde of demon soldiers who attack the group of heroes. However, these soldiers collide with a massive barrier created by an individual with immense power. Max quickly realizes this and investigates, leading them to a small town. There, they find a small church where a blonde-haired male priest is selling charms capable of repelling demon forces. Max and Leo approach the priest, inquiring about the effectiveness of these charms against demons. Leo, doubting their authenticity, makes a remark that offends the priest, causing him to feel angered. The priest views them as impure beings and forbids their entry into the church grounds he leads. Suddenly, lightning strikes in the town, indicating suspicious activity, and it is attacked by demon forces led by a general who possesses control over lightning. This powerful general breaks through the barrier, allowing the demon army to invade the town, resulting in chaos. Max and Leo, experienced in facing demon soldiers, now find themselves facing this demon general. The priest, along with two companions, joins the fight to protect the townspeople from becoming victims. However, a citizen is cornered by a massive demon warrior ready to strike, and Leo swiftly intervenes to save the villager by slaying the giant foe. The priest's magical energy starts depleting due to exhaustion, but with the assistance of Leo's energy regeneration abilities, he manages to continue the battle. Together, the trio manages to drive away the demon soldiers, leaving behind the injured demon general. After the battle, the priest, known as Fred, admits that his charms were fake, deceiving the townspeople. Understanding the situation, Max and Leo invite Fred to join them on their quest to fight the Demon King. Fred, now one of the leaders in the magic association within the kingdom where Max resides, embarks on this adventurous journey with them. On a bright morning, Max, the Demon King, and Xania were gathered at Max's apartment. Xania wanted to seek opinions about their comrade, Leo. She handed over a notebook containing information on how Leo, who now leads the Republic of Gamma, had betrayed the country they once inhabited. Max read through it and dismissed everything as mere nonsense, or more accurately, he did not want to get involved in that matter. The Demon King had advised against opening the topic, but Max ended up leaving the apartment, walking away to forget what he had just seen. After walking a short distance, with the intention of going to the adult DVD rental store, Max was approached by two reporters from the weekly magazine, Free Day. They inquired about the incident where Xania was seen naked and chasing after it. Max provided a comment based on the facts but lied a little about Xania to avoid revealing her identity. The female reporter then asked for his opinion on Leo leading the forces of the Republic of Gamma, who had occupied the northern region of the kingdom. Max paused, took a deep breath, and walked away without answering the reporter's questions, disappearing without a trace. The reporter couldn't even find a trace of Max. After distancing himself from the reporters, Max realized that one of his sandals was wet, and his pants were dirty due to the splashing. He spoke to himself, relieved that the citizens and journalists didn't recognize Xania as a demon clan member, so it wasn't much of a problem. However, he was worried that the journalists might ambush him any time he let his guard down. Consequently, Max decided to return to his apartment and vowed not to go out too often for a while. Fred is a chairman of the Magic Association in the Kingdom, having earned the position through his meritorious efforts in assisting the group of heroes in defeating the Demon King. Alongside his two assistants, he discreetly monitors Max from a distance, observing Max's return to his shabby apartment. Fred feels sorry for Max, knowing that his life is in disarray due to the scandal that befell him. Deciding to pay Max a visit, Fred and his assistants head to Max's apartment. However, on the other side, the Demon King is persuading Max to change his dirty pants. When Fred rings the doorbell, both the Demon King and Max panic as they sense Fred's potent aura. Max suggests that the Demon King hide immediately because if Fred discovers the Demon King's presence in Max's home, it would lead to significant trouble. Eventually, Max changes his pants and meets Fred. Max is surprised by Fred's visit and actually wants to avoid getting involved, as he does not want to interfere with Fred's work directly under the kingdom. Fred insists on speaking privately with Max, so his assistants are allowed to leave while waiting for them to finish. Upon entering Max's now clean room, Fred is astonished since he had previously visited a messy place. Fred notices the sacred sword of fire spirit lying on the bed, and he advises Max to store the sacred sword in the wardrobe to keep it safe. However, the sword size is too large to fit inside the wardrobe. Max intends to discuss why Fred came to his place, but instead, he ends up looking at a photo from 10 years ago, which irritates Max due to Fred's annoying attitude back then. 
Finally, Fred decided to discuss the purpose of his visit to Max's house, which is related to the Republic of Gamma led by their comrade, Leo, who has betrayed the kingdom. Fred persuades Max to assist the kingdom in fighting against Leo's forces. He believes that only Max can match Leo's power, as even someone of Fred's caliber would not be able to physically confront Leo due to the stark difference in their abilities. Fred even acknowledges that his magic alone might not be enough. Fred respectfully implores Max to help him in countering Leo's rebellion in the Republic of Gamma. However, Max declines, deeming it illogical to fight against a fellow comrade by siding with the kingdom. Fred promises to help Max regain his former glory as a hero by granting him a position within the kingdom's army, equal to Fred's own. At this point, Fred becomes visibly angry, observing what he perceives as Max's pitiful life. Max responds nonchalantly, acknowledging that he is different from his successful comrades and feels that he is at the end of his career, soon to be forgotten by society. Max believes that Fred has an overly high opinion of his current status and that he should have done something significant for the kingdom after defeating the Demon King. Fred feels that engaging in combat against a comrade, who is both a friend and a foe, goes against Max's sense of justice. Max expresses his weariness of being placed on the same pedestal as those revered for defending a country and society that he finds truly repulsive. Disappointed by Max's decision, Fred wants to leave, but before doing so, he brings up the incident where Max was chased by a naked woman. Fred realizes that the woman was a demon race and questions Max if he is involved with them. Although Max has fought against demon forces in the past, Fred worries about the potential repercussions of being associated with demons, as it could lead to public scrutiny and condemnation. Fred reminds Max of his past as a hero and cautions him against becoming a sinner by getting involved with demons, despite Max's initial reluctance to do so before the Demon King fully recovered. Fred, who had been suspicious from the beginning when he entered Max's apartment and sensed the presence of a demon aura, attempted to uncover what Max was hiding. Although initially panicking and wanting to strike Fred, Max managed to restrain himself and allowed Fred to search his wardrobe. Upon opening it, Fred came face to face with a ghost that had been residing in Max's apartment for a long time. Feeling frightened, Fred closed the wardrobe and asked about the strange occurrence, but the ghost simply stared at him, leaving him fearful, and then Fred left. Max and the Demon King felt relieved by the presence of the ghost, which also resided in Max's wardrobe. The ghost had actually been visible since episode 1, but it had only been a mere apparition without any real impact. Max asked the Demon King if he was responsible for scaring off Fred, but the Demon King denied any involvement, stating that he had merely hidden inside the wardrobe. The Demon King, curious about Max's comrade, attempted to inquire further, but Max flatly refused to discuss it, asserting that meddling in the matter would not change anything. Feeling that Max was always in dangerous situations, the Demon King apologized to Max and invited him to stay in his palace. Max responded with laughter, indicating that he would betray humanity entirely. Outside the apartment, Fred felt unwell after witnessing the ghostly apparition and initially considered not continuing with his task. However, his assistants insisted that Fred attend an evening meeting, which added to his burdens. With the assistance of his aides, Fred decided to persist in persuading Max to join the kingdom's forces, but on the condition that they not meet at his apartment since he could not bear the sight of the ghostly woman. What will happen next? Will Fred succeed in convincing Max to join? Or will there be more unexpected occurrences? We'll have to wait for the continuation to find out.